not striking out 18 times like they did last night. Spencer Watkins on the mound for the Seawolves. It was fireworks night, and he had himself a tough start, though. Jared Oliva finds the, finds a, uh, the gap in left field for a two-run double in the first, put the curve up a pair of runs right away. The Seawolves, though, would tie it up with one swing of the bat from Cody Eves in the second, his ninth homer of the year. That made it 3-3 on the three-run shot. Moving ahead to the top of the fourth, and the curve playing long ball of their own. Jarek Suter homers his fourth of the year to put Altoona up 5-4 on the two-run blast. Olivo would add to the damage with two more RBIs in the top of the fifth to make it 7-4 curve. And after Erie scored to make it 7-7, the game would go to extra innings. And Oliva would add to his total, driving in his fifth run of the night. Logan Hill homered for the second consecutive night in the 10th inning, and the curve win it by a final of 10 to 7. The State College Spike.